unavoidable shield. Double push from Freezer. Double push from Laundry. But it is handy on to Hurt. The opening is for Faze. And they double down. And Andy gets a crunchy. Oh, 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 Seconds. Sprays go out, but he doesn't find the target. Police box gets the open kill. And he comes down. Cyber Soul in a two versus three. W7M are looking to make a statement, but Soul. Oh, oh, what a At the death of the round. It's three in a row for Faze on the attack of Oregon. That's not supposed to happen. We'll just stall out the default plan for a little while longer. Little shift over, but Handy's got a good push coming in from Albo. JP falls, and they know the last one remains inside of Freezer with no gas babes. The chance here for Nade is very unlikely. Does his twin brother come and finish the job off? Handy wants to go for the peak. Nade, the red pink, a little bit of information up close from Pillar. It's Souls! It is a disaster of a start for W7M, but for FaZe, it's a dream that's become... He is not flushed out if he's not considered by the attack. He could be a difference maker. Oh, Handy wins it against Hurt. The lead box now comes in on the blitz. Oh, oh gets the kill. Double for Handy. Then they all fall. Mitigating his cyber to two versus two. To win this in a 7-0 fashion for FaZe. They've got the chance to create history, but Mitigating falls. Down to cyber. Coming through pillar, made for the plant. That's a big plant. What? Down at the KZ. Cyber, can he create history to begin this invitation? Oh. Oh, no. Tough challenge, especially on a site like Basement Oregon, where you need to have a lot of pressure, but it's KZ to drop Cyber. I think JV's gone for a bit of a rotate here. Right, hatch drop might be the play. Oh, he's here to kill. It's KDS. Faze, we're looking for the response. Still over towards Alpo. That does need to be cleared out. For Lee Fox there, though, of course, with KZ. Shoulder to shoulder, they can push together. The flash, it's full white for Vidicky. No response comes through. Three for KZ before he falls to Handy. Trades, though. Pillar, one back by Faze. Down to a two versus one. Davey with his battle. Andy versus Relief Box to try and seal this map for FaZe. It's down to Handy. And Relief Box goes hunting. Kit not with him. Oh! He's down. Handy for FaZe wins the opening map of the six invitation of Grand Final. It's one nothing to to the five members standing of FaZe. Handy with the next kill on to Nade. Isn't that fitting? And then a second from KDS as well. So far, it's just stalwart defense from FaZe. There's no chink in this armor. FaZe flawless for the second map, just like the opening of the first. It is a standing ovation from the crowd. And so far, FaZe continue to... Rotates towards Beepers because he's got that main stage control, but not from elevators. JV with a bit of an odd flank and then doubles down. Flexing their muscles in the grand final. Nade will get this plan down. Soul as the solo for FaZe in a very perilous position in a one versus four. Not often have we seen FaZe on the back foot in this grand final so far. But that moment just then highlights what W7M can do. Position still tied, but Nade comes to the drop in a bit of an unexpected plan. Position doesn't come through the doorway. Gets into a different spot. Oh. And this soul. Now goes to the plant. Doesn't stick it, anticipating nitro cells, but they're already expended inside of the smoke. He is a skewer when it comes to the vision for FaZe, and that plant will be successful. Now the retake is on for FaZe Clan. They just oh! What kind of madman goes brain inside of a smoke? Response from KZ. Handy can't touch it. W7M starting to make the magic happen at the most been able to get in successfully with the kid in hand as well. Red pink trying to clear front test. Needs to, does. Barely stays alive oh. and handy as well. Finds his second in the round. But Janitor strong in the defense. And KZ, three. And one versus two now. Vidikin, can he keep FaZe alive? Still has time, but no kit in front of him behind the sofa. Two versus one. You do not need to peek if you're W7M. Absolutely make one oh. movement. No noise, no sound. And JV has not given away his position. Now swings, I'll kill, you're kidding me, Vidicky! To do it like this on an SI Grand Final now creates the one versus one into red time. KZ can play the time. He doesn't have to do anything. Just allow him to plant and then swing at the last second. Vidicky cannot get off of this now. He sticks, he sticks it all the way. Pros do not fake, not at this level. KZ 
to win the map. No! Oh, he oh, oh, right there. You could have just shot him with your gun. It's Davey that gets the open to kill. Suddenly it's falling apart for Faze, but Zoff is unsuccessful. It's advantage for W7M time. The biggest factor is Zoff the second is out of the play. That just out doesn't hit the mark. Drop down, KDS. Getting by the kill. He has to go again. Are you kidding me? One somewhere along the map, but clearly to no real avail. KDS now trying to push up through Sushi, and now taking that fight. Can't get into a Keisha. The defense is perfect from W7M thus far to begin on Skyscraper. It's a very defensive side of map. KDS not expecting a very forward position from her. Gets on the repel. Outside of karaoke. T-Room stacked. Double defense. Felipox, good angle. Gets rid of the Montag. They're just struggling to find a foothold in towards the site. Kicked down over at the stairs. Into red time we go. Where's the response? No! The couple's through. David over to Swing into Fayum, Souls was able to get the kill. Brings it back to a three versus three with 60 seconds left in the round, but we've been in this position before. FaZe have found themselves with a chance late in the round where it looks like it's an even man advantage. And every single time W7M have been able to get over the line. Cyber now to sneak forward. A phenomenal play from KEZ who sensed the oh. moment and he finds the third. 40 seconds on the clock can FaZe respond. KZ continues to pack the top oh, the ace is denied! One versus two for Sol, denies the ace! Oh. It's the headshot! He's got three of his own! One versus one! With a massive round, an attacking round would be so crucial for FaZe! They need it, they desire it! He's gonna will his way against the oh. From Handy, looking to seek down and track the final members, the oh. drop! It's successful, but regardless, KDS lost his life. Handy got the knock down. JV to one on one oh. against Felipe Ox, left side corner. Oh. Yes, Handy's done it. Finally, at the death of that. All leaving a tight up. 90 seconds left. KDS like JV again. The smoke goes out, steals the vision, and JV's down. The trades are coming through. Faze standing strong in a two versus two, looking to take this third map for themselves. Where's Hurt? They lose Felipe. It's only down to Hurt. In a one versus two, with a lot of time still remaining, but he's spotted shot. Oh, yeah, no, so, man, they're a very fast paced team when it comes to entry. Yeah. Border does. Oh, 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 I thought that for a second was maybe hurt, but it was JV. Nevertheless, the same result. Still, the peaks do continue to come through for FaZe. We saw a lot of this aggressive defense from FaZe on other maps. It's a bit more difficult on board, though. More opportunities are there for the attacking teams. It's been a kick. Over towards Death, trying to take this very early contact fight again. Cyber, top metal, lost his fight as well. W7M are not here to mess around on border. So, for the one versus three, does almost get the kill onto her, but more killing and more surrounding his location. Oh, talk about a statement. To begin. One close right, tucked in, prone. Does he clear it? Nate, full white, on his own flash. No response initially from Souls. Now he gets up. Position known from Nate. Goes pro. The vault over. It's clean. That was a very low HP. Souls and so is Vida King. Still time. Kit in hand as well. It's something. The Goo Mine stepped off momentarily. Dislodges his position. Two impacts from Vida King. And look who's still alive on the other side. It's his brother, Handy. Nate. Oh! oh! You know, he shuts down his brother! Oh! 7M still have got vert control, something to consider for the long portion of this round. With 30 seconds left, KT gets a very critical kill. W7M now advantageous. Vidiking through lobby, oh. back and forth they go. He finds the kill, opens up sight. He's got Kit, and now on sight itself, it's Nade. He's been so good in the clutch. This is no support player. He is the clutch king at the moment. Cyber with a pistol. Oh, Nade's done it. Philippox has done it. Back foot of that Montang in Vidikin. Now down towards Top East on the other side of this corridor. The swings are coming through. Souls clean into security. The train eventually. Person is outside of the map. He's on the balcony. What is he doing? He's playing from outside the map. How can he get away with this though? Drop shot from KDS. FaZe have been able to overcome another map point here. I didn't think that was possible. I thought they were going to blunder, but no. That's up to Nade in the one before. There's one. Three to go for Nade. I mean, at this point, I back him in with the way he's been playing, but the Montag in his way, that becomes the biggest factor at all. Oh, it's clutch almost for a moment. The guard break is strong. Good to oh. Those mirror windows are going to be key in locking down this office position. Double from me! Crazy! Three kills! Response from Vida King. He has to pull the pistol out at that point, and maybe again, but the knife shut down. We are going in distance. 
them, not the start they would have been hoping for. Face gonna play tighter together, don't expose yourself, set up those crossfires, hold the angles together, and force the 2v1s. Nade thrown out from KZ, does get the knock on to Zol, finished off as well. A couple of kills. They set a three versus two. KZ's still very low, needs to make his way through that doorway. In his lost AV92, he's down, out for the count. And a one versus three, now back ends my shot down quickly. KDS with the last two. Faze with the opening statement in this fifth and final map. At least information shot now from the wall from KZ. Which oh, KZ! Oh, they needed that one, W7M. A slow and stagnant start to Night Haven, but now an opportunity. And JB can pound on that said opportunity. Down to just Cyber and a one on three. Cyber can go for the revive. Oh. Alex to go for the Nitro. I don't oh. think he's going to pull this one if he doesn't. W7M respond. W7M, Owen 4 playing the Finca, right. needs to be good on the entry. He's one of their best players when it comes to the player ratings. Sure is. A oh. phenomenal player. Surely not. It just feels like it's starting. No! Finds his way. Doubles down. Triples down. Nitrocell as well. Got the shot. Like the Nitrocell. W7M are imploding. Phase. Minute and a half. Well, there's another three. Two to go. This is where moments are born created and forged in this battle of war of attrition. Two to go. Can he create two one versus ones with 60 seconds to do so? They're flanking. I know Philippe Box does not have a read. I think he might now though. Keep he pushing. senses that it's clear. Keep pushing and you might be able to win this one for W7. It feels so pivotal, so vital. The battle of war of attrition can't be won though. Side by side, brother in arms, and now the drop from Handy, expecting one to be behind the tank, but not to be. And now he questions where they very well may be on the site itself. Vidiking as well. Well, there he is, KZ. You wanted to find him, and he finds you. So is made. This one's not over yet. The bank off of that wall. The flash. Souls will fall. No more can Dallas. Nicely done from Burns. Started to get involved, but it is phase. They bring it back to a three on three and Cyber as well. And he can get almost another one. Oh. It's cemented, no. Two versus two. Nate still has a nitro cell. They get that through hurt. Here he comes. He makes it. Yeah. This final 15 seconds, seconds of the drop from Souls. Playing behind Handy, who still needs to get the kid onto the floor. And Souls will fall to me. Handy in the one versus two. Deep into red time. He can't see it. I think he's denied it. Headshot so good. From Garaz, the headshot onto Handy, who's been so strong for phase. Over the blue we go. Souls can't win the initial shot. As Finn King falls. It's all direct. It's a knockdown. Ah! No, three versus one. Is this the moment where we get crowned a new champion, a new dynasty to be created? And Twenty twenty four champion.